Yeah. I, um, what you going into? This is the third full season now, isn't it? Um, it feels like, and I guess this is this is always the way with with sides. It feels like there's been an evolution year in year out. It feels like the mistakes that were maybe made or there's been lessons learned every single year as we've gone along. I would say, you know, there was the first season we saw glimpses of what this of what this side was. I think Man City away um, was the first time we looked at it and went. Yeah, that we'll have more of that. We'll have that every week if that's possible. Yeah. And it feels like every season we've seen that in bigger spells of the yeah. season. Is that is that what you've been kind of driving driving towards? Yeah, that's what, when I, what I mean when I say consistency. So bringing your best shape performance on the pitch pretty much each week. And if it's not there, still be able to win games because that's for us our really good games we win. Yeah. So our average game we have to win much more often and a lot of teams have average we cannot have a season flying it's really rare not even Leicester was completely flying yeah. I mean we love a season of seven nils that'd be great yeah but yeah <laughs> but that's absolutely but that's that's that no, doesn't happen so yeah that's the one thing the other thing is we had obvious problems in different departments like set pieces then then we then we then we defended set pieces better then we had a problem with second balls after set pieces which is still a set piece but it was not the same problem um, and all these things then obviously we we, we conceded too many goals with the the other team didn't have a lot of chances so it's like you had three cha- shots on target against us was three goals two yeah. and it was not the goalkeeper it was not that he was standing there and the ball is in there so it was only we let them come in the wrong in the wrong zones if you want yeah. the areas and and all that stuff so it, it's like that what you work on all week you cannot fix it like that it's not a finger snap and done uh, now we have it so that's that's the improvement that's the, that's the development what we, what we had to do and then of course we had we had uh, in the first year already f- fantastic players but I'm, I'm not a genius I can I we cannot win against all the other teams only because I give this and this it helps obviously having a, a manager has a, quite an idea of football but at the end very often in game especially in average games the individual quality decides the games so and that we could improve that, have still a lot of these players in, but change a few things and you feel it by yourself, getting more and more happy about the squad and stuff like that. But it's only one step because quality is, is interesting, but it's only interesting if you really make something of it. Yeah. So one is potential, the other thing is quality and we have a lot of potential, now we have to make quality of it again, building really on the things we did last year. Yeah. Again, since I'm in, we conceded quite a lot of, but we, we are not easy to outplay it's not that yeah. they have a lot of chances against yeah. us that yeah. we defend well even when we a lot of got a lot of criticism for defending it's, it's not bullshit but it was not right yeah so we, we conceded goals of four chances and against other teams had 15 shots on target yeah. we, we say we watch the goals back and you think look like exactly what you say there you couldn't say this is how you work your way through Liverpool it, be, it was just a ball of bounce it hit someone's knee and a guy would stick it in the back of the net and you're like well you yeah. can't you can't what, what but, you, but what we have to work on is that the ball is not coming in that area yeah. so that's what we had to improve 100% so yeah. it's a little bit if we do if we play high pressure for example then everybody feels comfortable yeah if we play midfield pressure it's still okay if we defend deep it's not exa- exactly the same quality as we could have. Yeah. It's the next step for us. Yeah. Well, who can? We are now all together in a very small area and in behind we have a guy who can catch the ball. Uh, that, that is a massive um, advantage. Yeah. So, and all this, and that's really the situation that we try to improve all these different things without losing the other things because yeah. we are an offensive orientated team. Yeah. That's how it is. We are an offensive orientated club. Yeah. I would say you cannot. You cannot. Um, Was that a deliberate thing when you came in? Because a lot of managers come in and they get the they get the defence right, so they'll go a season or two. Like Rafa did a similar thing. I think Jose Mourinho does a similar thing where you you make sure that you're watertight and then you add quality. It feels a little bit like you went right. We're gonna get we're gonna get people off the seats. We're gonna get people. <laughs> you know. But you, you know. I don't want to say it's like it's some bullshit notion that you're just gonna entertain. Ha, isn't everyone entertained? But it, it felt as though. The, it, it just feels like it's been loads more fun this time. This time around, you know, we've we've have had those. We've had a lot of high points. It's a little al- bit along the. If that might be a simple. So it's, a, it's not on the German side. It's a saying. So offense wins your games. Defense wins your championships. So that's how it is. So and I'm, I was as a starter, as an average striker, and as an average defender. But um, my first aim for each go- team I managed was organization. Yeah. So. It's never it never went there and said, "Come on, we don't care about that. <laughs> Look in that direction. There's the goal. There we go. Yeah. Never." 
But when I came in, we had five strikers. Yeah. I never before had five strikers. It was like, wow, <laughs> what can we do with that? And, uh, and stuff like that. We had Phil Coutinho. And uh, then Bobby Firmino was only a striker because I, I said he's a striker. I actually was a midfield player. So Adam Lallana, all that stuff. There was so, many, so much offensive potential. Now I come in and tell all of them, forget what you're good in. I, see, yeah. I teach you, first of all, how you have to, what you have to do. And we did that, actually, from the beginning. That's how we started. Yes. <laughs> Making use of what you had. I, yes, and I do it. One of them, I love the game. But at the end, I, I really think sport in general has to entertain. Yeah. Has to entertain people. Because that, otherwise there's not a real reason for it. Yeah. We could do something serious then. Yeah. We could save lives. Yeah. Working as fire workers, whatever, going out there, whatever, you could do it. Then you don't go in stadium and afterwards you say, 20 times in a row, wow, wow, <laughs> what was that? Yeah. Yeah, that's not okay. And yeah. I know, but we want, first of all, we want to win things. It's not that it's a, we, we come from the entertaining side and then we are not the Harlem Globe trust us. Yeah, no, <laughs> right. We are not there. Um, and that's, that's really important. But on the other side, I believe in that way. Yeah. And that's why I said I was happy that when City became champion, we couldn't, so in City top because that's football yeah. they played an outstanding season so you are champion whoever a lot of people don't want to hear that but fi yeah. I, deserve. I find that's, that's the one thing that annoys me most about football and pressure is that people go well you, now you have to win the title it's like well what, what's to stop Man City winning every, Man City win every game of football what, what, Liverpool can't win one more game of football and, uh, and win the title and that's, that, 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 that's the thing I think that's the, the a lot of people don't understand that, that you've got to enjoy the ride I think as, as a fan and I must admit that that's what last season was, was the, a beautiful thing for me was because I got to go to a Champions League final do you see you know the, the ability to bounce back because you had two heart, major heartbreaks at Mainz didn't you missing out on promotion does that kind of is it easy if you turn around to the guys now and say Come on, lads! You know you, only, you, you lost the Champions League final. It could be it, it, at least you're there. That's it's, a, it's an easier step up to make to make it up from there. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I understand. So I think bounce back is not an opportunity. Bounce back is a duty. You have to. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only reason for falling. Yeah. Come on, get I up. I think that's from Batman. That, that, that's that's for me really. But I had the opportunity to learn it early, so. But. So you know the goal stuff. difference you missed out on promotion was, was it one point, one point. goal. First year one point, next year one goal. <laughs> yeah, very nice. In, <laughs> uh, 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 they had eight minutes overtime, uh, extra time in, in that other ga in, in that other game, and they scored twice. In a, so we were actually final whistle. Yippee! Mm. There's not a final whistle out. So, but what I really learned there is that it's possible. So the, 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 how bad you ever feel, it's no problem. There is a next day, hopefully sunshine, whatever, or it's raining again, whatever. But you know there's another chance. No, it's not nice. But I'm already looking forward to the next three hours alone in the room and prepare the meeting yeah. for the final. So I am like that. But it's, we didn't have these bad moments. So for me it was, I know how you said, people say we have to win, we have to win. But yes, we think the same, not in that it's not that urgent if you want so that we say without we cannot we, we don't work together anymore but we want it with all we have but the champions league qualification for us twice in a row with the circumstances we had was for us winning yeah. something you don't get a silverware for it yeah. but something for it but you you are the champions league and we showed that we are in the first year immediately that we are ready for it yeah so we are not only part of it and tr guests yeah. And try to play a little bit of football and then <laughs> got a knock and go home. No, we were immediately in. Did we have a, an easy group? I don't think so, but there were more difficult groups. But you have to go, go through it. Yeah, uh, still, uh, that's it. Are you pleased? I guess that it looks like the squad's got the right mentality now. You can, you, whether it's you don't, guys who were there, you've constructed that they're, they're going to go into the season not damaged by the defeat, just emboldened and ready to, to kick on again. Of course. The, for example, Virgil van Dijk. Half a year before, he came in mid of season, and by the end of the season, ended in the Champions League final. So you don't come off in the Champions League final. That is quite a difficult thing. So it was for all of us really big. So and you know, we were not far away from winning it against a team. So and that's a little bit the story of my life. A bit we had always to overperform to reach what we did with Mainz. The, exactly the same team. We we didn't get 
promoted in my first season as a manager because one point was nearly relegated the year before. The big difference was I didn't play anymore. <laughs> so and then I was the manager. So and then in, in we were nearly we were the best team of the first part of the season. So but overperforming constantly. Yeah. Like wow. We all if you ask them today, we have still a WhatsApp group, Team Two Thousand Four. So if you ask them today how did Peter that, that, that they didn't realise it by yeah. themselves. So then Dortmund, obviously very young. So in Liverpool we had to start like that. You can we be kind of overperformed a bit. Mm -hmm. So and now we come closer to where we have hopefully that quality where we don't have to overperform, we have to perform. And yeah. if we overperform then we make the next step. Absolutely. So and, and, and that's the situation. So I would love to go to a final and be the absolutely favourite, to be yeah. honest. But not, not bad. Yeah. You know, okay, maybe your average day is enough but or whatever. Yeah. Um, or this one this guy scores always. These these kind of things. But we had that and so far but we work on that. It's not that I wanna be outside and we cannot say as we are outside of course not and we are not but in a lot of moments in the past we were kind of not exactly the team we didn't fulfill the name yeah so LFC big history and then we came yeah good <laughs> good but not nearly the champion yeah so and we come closer and that's actually the, the journey we, we are on and hopefully it will be a very, 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 very positive end. Yeah. And you can imagine in the third year when we when we got then um, promoted with Mainz. I think if you bring up that game again, show it in the city, they will come again, 100,000 people watch yeah. it and have three days of party. So everybody knows it still. That was massive. Wait till you see what the party will be like. <laughs> yeah. <in the> <laughs> I, I can imagine a bit, a little bit. Yeah. Absolutely. That much in my family, I'm. Not that they are all crazy, but I'm the most serious part. <laughs> that's really. <laughs> I drive the car home, stuff like that. So <laughs> that's it. I'm, I'm not a party guy or whatever. So I'm, I, I like, I like, I really, I love my life. Yeah. That's, that's true, and I, I love my job.